Welcome back to episode 17 of building our ultimate expedition vehicle. In this episode, we start building out our massive closet. I'm Courtney, and that's my husband, Riley. Driven by a desire to learn new skills, we set off to build our ultimate expedition vehicle. With a timeline of two months, we are pushing ourselves to create a vehicle that will allow us to ski, mountain bike, and off-road our way through the country. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we started this project, but it's turning into so much more than just an RV. So buckle up and follow along, because this is Ambition Strikes. We're working on designing this back closet area right now. The goal is to maximize the storage space, but also make it very usable because we do have a pinch point right here with the kitchen counter and it's very narrow. So we wanna make sure to maybe do some drawers down low and then some cabinets up above. I don't know, Courtney, I think I'm overthinking this. <laughs> Classic. We're sitting here trying to figure out the closet to design something that is functional, maximizes the space and won't take forever to build. Three requirements that are pretty difficult sometimes. Yeah. We need to help make sure that this cabinet is square and hold it square while we install it, but we don't want to lose depth by adding a back or add weight by adding a back. So we're going to use these aluminum angle gussets and that'll help ensure that we can secure it square. It stays like these where it's freezing cold and we're working in the driveway that we definitely daydream of having a shop, a very large shop, it is in her shop, someday. We're currently working on trimming out the face frame to this cabinet. That's what will cover the exposed plywood edge and it will also be what our door and drawers close against. We are gluing and nailing and screwing everything So yesterday we got all of our face framing done. This is going to be a cabinet with two doors. That is gonna be our hanging clothes with a cabinet with one door. This is going to be drawers. This is going to be drawers and this is going to be a very large pull out shoe drawer. This is the water heater and it'll get just a false front to trim it out. So we're gonna to start today by doing our drawers.
cabinet making is a skill that's pretty new to us. We did a flip house this year where we refaced the cabinets and that's where we acquired what we know. I don't know that we're doing it right. <laughs> this is our first time building drawer boxes and I uh, watched a few YouTube videos and I think uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Riley's figuring out what he did wrong because it doesn't fit. Should have made it the same length as this for some reason I didn't. It should be 29 and 5 16 but it said it's something different. Take two. Courtney has a way of somehow sneaking in and finishing everything before I even realize what's going on. Like this. The other side of this plywood is UV coated, but the bottom is not. So I'm gonna seal it to help mitigate any sort of warping issues. Now we get to play how many of my nails missed. One. <laughs> one. I thought it was zero. It's one. The easiest way to remove nails that have missed is to grab them with a pair of dikes and actually pull them through rather than trying to pull them out. So I just learned that this is supposed to be a shoe drawer. So, <sighs> do my shoes fit? Like a glove. Also, if any of you know where I can get better shoes, I got another hole in my shoes, so. That's two pairs of shoes down on this build. We've never built anything of this size before, and there's a lot of drawer slides to mount. So we need to come up with an a efficient system for mounting the drawer slides. Not like we did it on the fridge, where we had to take the thing apart about 30 times to get it to line up right. We're going to see if we can figure this out. So the locking drawer slides you saw us use earlier do not come apart, but these drawer slides do come apart, so we're able to mount the cabinet, the drawer box side and the cabinet side separately from each other and then put them together when we're done. This is my shoe drawer. Where are your shoes going? That little box out there. <laughs> That's Riley's shoe cubby. My shoes belong outside for good reason. They smell so bad. <laughs> well, one drawer down. Eight uh, to go. Eight drawers, nine drawers to go. So now we're using the router table to cut this dado into the drawer sides for the drawer bottom to fit into. Our local hardwood supplier sells these pre-made drawer sides, which are really cool. They're UV coated Baltic birch and they already have a nice radius on the top that's also UV coated. They come in different heights, four, six, eight, and 10 inches. So all we have to do is cut them to length and put the dado in them. With the same cutter, but a different setup on the router table, we're able to cut this rabbit into one side of the drawer box. So when we assemble it, they fit together like this. We're gonna cut the plywood down to be the bottoms of the drawers. This is the part I mess up every time. You hope that you cut them too big, not too small, because <laughs> then you can cut them again. Now we assemble our boxes. Hopefully they assemble correctly and hopefully they fit. You took everything to say. You took all of the words, leaving no words for me. All right, and now it's time to assemble our boxes. I feel like in our old campers, you would have been stoked to just have one of these drawers. Yeah. Now we have eight of them. Eight of them. <laughs> we 
We glue the four corners of the box together, but we don't glue the bottom in. And that is so that if there's temperature changes, this can kind of swell and shrink and it won't bust open the box. We don't want any bust open boxes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes around box number five, you do something dumb like that. Dados are supposed to line up. So time to disassemble it and turn it around. Last night we worked late and we got all of our drawers in. So we have nine drawers of storage, which is insane. If you're enjoying this series, make sure to tap that subscribe button and stay tuned for part two of building our massive closet.